I just, I just don't know when, I just don't know when to stop. Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and experimenting with some different mediums and also a new easel that I just bought off Amazon which was only 19 99 which I'm pretty pleased about because all of the others were like £80 and I was like I ain't got time for that sort of money. I bought these two canvases um, which I believe are 18 by 24 but I will just double check that with you. Yep so these are the canvases that I got and they are indeed 18 by 24. It's a bit of an experiment it's um i'm going for quite a contemporary look with this so i guess we'll just see how it goes um so i'm gonna get straight into this and i hope you enjoy watching this and we shall see how it goes So the next thing I'm actually going to focus on on the background is the way that the brush strokes go. So I really want this spherical effect. Makes it look a lot bigger than it actually is. A pretty flat colour but just adding in some darker blues towards the edge and then lighter colours towards the middle. Okay and I think I'm going to leave it there for the background on this one and I'm going to move on to the background on the second one. Right, once these are done, now we can move on to the interesting part and see if this painting is successful. So I'm going to be actually changing my brush to a slightly smaller one for the details, just because I think this one will be a bit too big to get all of the detail that I want to get in and it's just a lot easier to work with a smaller brush when you're trying to get shading in in my opinion. These brushes are just from Amazon and they were about six or seven pounds for, I think I got 12. I got nine, I think I got 10 actually. Yeah, for 10 brushes, which is amazing. They're acrylic brushes, which means they're just super soft to any surface or any canvas, which is great. And they are just the dream to work with. So I'm using these and Yep, I'm going to swap over now and when you're not using your brush, make sure you put it in cold water just because acrylic dries up very quickly. And now I've lost my brush. So I think the way I'm going to work around this is I'm going to just tone in the darker sections first. I always forget when moving between mediums how different the paints are. So I'm usually a watercolour artist and you can just kind of move the paint around a lot, let it dry and put some more water on it and it will come back to life. Whereas with acrylic, once it's dry, that stuff's dry. So we need to work quickly and it can work really well for some people because if you're painting something that has layers as such as dog's fur, you can really create a base and then put the detail on top, which is really useful. But I am a very indecisive painter, so I need the forgiveness of watercolour paint. So I think I'm going to finish this one off here for now and 
we will see what it looks like when it's dried because some of the colour changes a little bit. Um, I want to keep it pretty simple um, with the way that it is and see what it looks like next to the mountain ones. Hey guys, so today is another day and I'm ready to crack on with this mountain painting. So we'll see how it is. I kind of just needed a breather from yesterday. Uh, getting back into acrylic painting was a little harder than I thought it would be, but we'll crack on with this one and see if it's any easier today. I always use so much white paint, so I got myself one of these white primers, uh, which is basically the same thing as acrylic paint, but it is a lot cheaper, so you need to get yourself one of these because it does the same job. Now this is the dilemma, I quite like it as it is but I also, I also kind of want to add in a little bit of detail so at least I have this image of what it looks like now on the camera so if it goes wrong then at least I can look back at this um, so wish me luck on this next part. So that's the video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Learning acrylic paint is a lot harder than it looks but I am actually really pleased with these. I hope you found this video useful and if you did enjoy watching it then do give it a like and also if you do like watching my videos then give me a little subscribe because that really helps me out. I think one of the main tips that I would give but I find it very difficult to stop sometimes because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I just I just don't know when I just don't know when to stop something like this I find it really hard to do because I like things to be really detailed and when I'm going down the more abstracty route I'm I just I'm very very far out of my comfort zone so I'd love to hear any tips for knowing when to stop basically so if you do have any tips for me I'd love to hear that um, you can find me on my Instagram at Susanna Jane underscore art I'm most active on there so please don't hesitate to contact me and yeah I really just hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to making more of these so I shall see you all soon. Goodbye!